So in this song, I'm going to be teaching you how to play, sorry, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play the song Just What I Needed by the Cars. So this song is in the key of E, and I'm going to be teaching it to you sort of simplified, because it's really all you need for it to sound right. Um, so I'm going to be teaching you this song using power chords. For those of you who don't know what power chords are, you really just take the chord and you just play the bottom couple strings of it. So this song will use five chords. It's going to start off with the chord of E major. So for this one, your pointer finger will go in the seventh fret of the A string, and your ring finger will go in the ninth fret of the D string, and your pinky finger will go in the ninth fret of the D string. And then you're going to play those, those, just those three strings. Next chord you're going to need is a B major. So for this one, you really just slide everything down a string. So your pointer finger will be in the seventh fret of the low E string. Your ring finger will be in the ninth fret of the A string, and your pinky finger will be in the ninth fret of the D string. And again, you'll play just those three strings. Next chord you're going to need is a C sharp minor. So for this, you take that same structure. Um, your pointer finger should be in the fourth fret of the A string. Ring finger should be in the sorry should be in the sixth fret of the D string. And your pinky should be in the 6th fret of the G string, and you play the, those, just those three strings again. Next chord you're going to need is a G sharp major. So for this one, your pointer finger should go on the 4th fret of the low E string. Ring finger should go on the 6th fret of the A string. Pinky finger should go on the 6th fret of the D string. And again, play just those three strings. Now the last chord you're going to need is an A major. So for this chord, you're going to take what the chord I just taught you, the G sharp, and you're going to slide it up one fret. So your pointer finger will be on the fifth fret of the low E, and your ring and pinky fingers will be on the seventh fret of the A and D string, respectively. And again, play just those three strings. Now the chord progression for this song is fairly repetitive, so it should be pretty easy to get. You start on the E, you go to the B, C sharp minor, G sharp, that repeats for the verses. Um, and then for the first verse, for the second verse, you do that the first time. And then the second time you go the E, B, G sharp, A. And then there's a little interlude or instrumental where you play the same chord structure as the first four. So the first line is the same, it ends in the G sharp, the second line ends in the A. Um, and then verse 3 follows the same chord pattern as verse 1, so you do the one that ends in the G sharp both times. And then you go to a pre-chorus, which is the same as verse 2, so you do the one that ends in the G sharp to the one that ends in the A. And the chorus has a little bit different of a chord progression. So, you're going to hit that E, go, just go straight to the B, then to the A, and then to the C sharp minor then back and repeat that four times. Sound like that. Um, for the strum pattern for this song is just down strums the whole time, so just sound like this. pretty easy and that's really all there is to the chords of the song it just starts, starts to repeat itself a lot from there so if you're having trouble just find the chord chart the chord sheet but otherwise i hope you guys enjoy should have should, should have found this one